What would you do if you knew there was gold free for the taking lying just beneath your feet? Picture it for a moment. A glinting promise of prosperity hidden in the earth, waiting to be unearthed. This is the allure of gold, a universal symbol of wealth and power that has fascinated humanity since time immemorial. Across the globe and throughout history, gold has been worshipped, fought over and chased with a fervor like no other. Its allure is undeniable. It's not just about the shimmering beauty of the metal, it's about the promise of instant wealth, the chance to change one's fate overnight. This fascination, this gold fever, has led to some of the most significant migrations and transformative events in human history. One of the most notable of these events was the gold rush of the 19th century. Gold, the precious metal that triggered a frenzy like no other. Let's dive into the story of the gold rush. Our story begins in 1848 in the heart of California, when James W. Marshall discovered a shiny nugget in the American River. This wasn't just any nugget but a precious chunk of gold. Marshall, a simple carpenter, had stumbled upon something that would trigger an epic of frenzied migration and exploration, a period now known as the California Gold Rush. The discovery happened at Sutter's Mill, a sawmill owned by John Sutter where Marshall worked. At first, Sutter and Marshall tried to keep the discovery a secret, fearing what would happen if word got out. But as we all know, secrets, especially those of golden proportions, rarely stay hidden for long. News of the discovery leaked, and it spread like wildfire. By 1849, the 49 ERs as they would later be called, started pouring into California from all corners of the United States, drawn by the alluring promise of gold. They left their homes, their families, their previous lives, all in pursuit of the golden dream. But it wasn't just Americans who were captivated by the prospect of striking it rich. Word of the gold discovery crossed oceans and continents, reaching far-off places. From the chill of the Russian steppes, the shores of China, to the cobblestone streets of Europe, people were infected with gold fever. The impact was immediate and staggering. California, which was a sparsely populated region at the time, saw its population explode. San Francisco, a small settlement of about 200 residents in 1846, grew to a bustling city of about 25,000 residents by 1850. The gold rush wasn't just a rush for gold, it was a rush for dreams, for hopes, for a better future. It was a rush that reshaped landscapes, redefined lives and rewrote histories. And so, the gold rush began forever changing the course of history. As word spread, gold fever ignited, drawing hundreds of thousands to California. It was like a wildfire rapidly consuming all in its path, an unstoppable force fueled by dreams of striking it rich. The year was 1849 and people from every corner of the United States and beyond were caught in the grip of this fever. They were drawn by the allure of gold, by the promise of a better life, by the chance to write their own destiny. They came in droves, these hopeful prospectors, staking their futures on the glint of gold in the Californian rivers. They were known as the 49 ears a diverse group of individuals united by a common goal. Men and women, young and old, rich and poor, they were all lured by the siren song of gold. For some it was a chance to escape poverty, to provide for their families, to build a future. For others, it was the thrill of the adventure, the romance of the unknown, the lure of the Wild West. The 49 ERs came from all walks of life. There were farmers and merchants, sailors and soldiers, lawyers and doctors, there were immigrants from Europe and Asia, hopeful souls seeking a new life on American shores. All were united by the common thread of hope and the universal language of gold. This influx of gold seekers fundamentally changed the face of California. Towns sprang up overnight dotting the landscape with makeshift homes and hastily erected businesses. San Francisco, a sleepy town of about 800 citizens at the start of the gold rush, exploded to a bustling city of over 30,000 within a few short years. The 49 ERs brought with them their cultures, their cuisines, their languages and their dreams, enriching the cultural tapestry of California and leaving an indelible mark on its history. With dreams of gold dancing in their heads these 49 ERs forever transformed the landscape of California. The fever had spread, and the Golden State would never be the same. Gold fever wasn't contained to California, it sparked rushes all over the world. Indeed, the glimmer of gold ignited a global frenzy, with significant rushes taking place in far-flung corners of the world. 
Let's take a leap across the Pacific to Australia, where the discovery of gold in the early 1850s set off a rush that would forever change the young nation. The Australian gold rushes were a series of rushes that occurred in New South Wales and Victoria, attracting hopeful prospectors from around the globe. The rush was so intense that by the mid-1860s, Australia had produced nearly 40% of the world's gold. It was a period of rapid growth and immense wealth, but also of considerable hardship and struggle. But the story doesn't end there. We then journey to the southernmost tip of Africa. In the late 1880s the discovery of gold in South Africa's Witwatersrand Basin sparked a rush that would transform the region into the world's largest gold producer. This rush however was steeped in controversy and conflict, as the lure of gold exacerbated racial tensions and led to the brutal exploitation of native populations. Our final stop takes us to the icy wilderness of the Klondike in northwestern Canada. In the late 1890s, word of gold in the Yukon Territory set off one of the last great gold rushes in history. Tens of thousands of prospectors braved the harsh conditions of the Klondike, driven by dreams of striking it rich. The Klondike Gold Rush was a testament to the human spirit's resilience and determination in the face of adversity. These global rushes, while distinct in their own ways, shared a common thread. They were all driven by the promise of gold, a promise that lured hopefuls from every corner of the globe, altering the course of history and leaving an indelible mark on the world. From California to the Klondike, the promise of gold lured hopefuls from every corner of the globe. The gold rush wasn't all glitter and glory, it had profound and lasting impacts. Dive deep into any historical event and you'll unearth a trove of consequences. The gold rush is no exception. Its impact, much like the precious metal itself, was multifaceted, affecting economics, society, and the environment. Let's talk economics first. The gold rush was a catalyst for rapid economic growth. It wasn't just about the gold, entire industries sprouted up around the prospectors' needs. Businesses providing food, clothing, tools, and entertainment flourished, while transportation and communication infrastructure expanded rapidly. The gold rush was a boon for some, but for others, it was a bust. The promise of prosperity attracted a flood of people, leading to the development of boomtowns. These bustling hubs of activity were often short-lived though, collapsing once the gold ran out. On a social level, the gold rush was a melting pot of cultures. People from all over the world converged onto the gold fields, bringing with them their customs, languages, and food. This diverse influx of people shaped the cultural landscape of regions like California, making it the mosaic it is today. But not all interactions were positive. The arrival of gold seekers led to the displacement of indigenous peoples, who were often driven off their ancestral lands. This dark chapter in history is a stark reminder of the human cost of progress. And then there's the environmental impact. Mining, especially on the scale of the gold rush, is not a gentle process. Rivers were rerouted, forests were felled, and landscapes were forever altered. The scars of the gold rush are still visible today, a testament to the environmental toll of our insatiable quest for wealth. The gold rush left an indelible mark, shaping the world as we know it today. It's a story of ambition, survival, and the pursuit of dreams, but also a story of displacement, destruction, and disparity. The gold rush, like any historical event, is a complex tapestry of triumphs and trials. Though the gold rush ended, its legacy lives on. A statement that rings true even today. The gold rush was more than just a frenzied hunt for wealth. It was a movement that shaped societies, economies, and cultures in profound ways. Its impact continues to reverberate, evident in our fascination with gold, the romanticization of the 49ER, and the ongoing environmental implications of mining. Gold, a symbol of wealth and prosperity, continues to captivate the human imagination. Its allure, sparked by the gold rush, still holds strong. Today gold is not just a precious metal but a cornerstone of global finance, an essential component in technology, and a coveted piece of jewelry. Our modern world in many ways owes its shape to the gold rush that ignited this fascination. The 49ER, the iconic gold prospector, has become a romantic figure in popular culture. These brave, often reckless individuals who risked everything in pursuit of a dream, embody the spirit of adventure and determination. Their stories filled with hope, despair, and perseverance are woven into the fabric of our collective mythos. The 49ER is not just a historical figure but a symbol of the human quest for fortune and glory. 
Yet the legacy of the gold rush is not all golden. The environmental impact of mining, a dark side of this historical event, lingers on. Rivers were rerouted, landscapes were scarred, and ecosystems were disrupted in the quest for gold. Even today we grapple with the aftermath of these environmental changes, a sobering reminder of the price we pay for progress. The gold rush was a pivotal chapter in our history, a period that defined the course of societies and economies. It was a time of unprecedented change and unbridled ambition, a testament to the human spirit's resilience and tenacity. The gold rush may be over, but its echoes can still be heard. The gold rush, a period of frenzy, fortune, and lasting transformation. Throughout this journey, we've traced the footsteps of countless fortune seekers driven by the allure of gold. This precious metal, glistening with promises of wealth and prosperity, ignited a fever that spread across continents, altering the course of history. We began with the dawn of the gold rush in the mid-19th century when James W. Marshall discovered gold in California. This solitary find sparked a wildfire, a fever that ignited the dreams and ambitions of thousands. Men and women, young and old, they all succumbed to the allure of gold, abandoning their lives for the chance to strike it rich. But the gold rush wasn't confined to the borders of the United States. It was a global phenomenon, reaching as far as Australia and South Africa. It was a time when the world was gripped by gold fever, a time when fortunes were made and lost, and a time when the world was forever changed. We've also explored the lasting impacts of the gold rush. The rush for gold transformed landscapes, upturned societies and laid the foundations of modern economies. It spurred technological innovation, fueled immigration, and brought about social and political change. The gold rush was not just about the pursuit of wealth, it was a catalyst for progress and transformation. The legacy of the gold rush continues to resonate today. It has shaped our world in ways we might not readily perceive. It's in the cities that sprang up from once desolate landscapes, in the multicultural societies we live in, and in the spirit of adventure and resilience that defines us. As we wrap up this journey, let's reflect on the indelible mark left by the gold rush. It was a time of fever and frenzy, a time of fortune and hardship, and a time of enduring transformation. We'll leave you to ponder this. What would our world look like today without the frenzy of the gold rush?